Uh, I remember once lecturing at uh, NYU Law School and uh, about the uh, Middle East peace process, the creation of the Palestinian state. And the whole uh, faculty and student body just beat the hell out of me for uh, two hours, three hours about being an anti-Semite and this, that, and the other thing. And then uh, they wouldn't publish my paper in the proceedings. And then they try to stiff me on my expenses. And this is typical. Um, you know, so I, I don't go anywhere anymore unless I get my expenses up front. I don't care who they are. And I'm certainly never going to go back to NYU. That's all pro-Israel. Yale's pro-Israel. You know, there are a couple of people at Harvard who aren't. Um, but, that, you know, that's just, that's just academia for you. How much of that do you think may be due to the, the, the fear of somebody being anti-Semitic? They don't want to do anything that somehow... Well, this is all, no, no, this is organized by ADL, APAC, Dan Pipes, people like that saying, we don't want this person speaking, we don't want that person, we don't want this person on the faculty. But the, it has nothing all to do with, you know, anti-Semitism well, or that. I mean the the really. impetus to do this is blackballing. ADL had a blackball list. APAC has a black ball list. I've been on both of those. Dan Pipes has a new list. I'm on that. And uh, uh, the order is given out. This person doesn't speak. Disrupt that speech. Keep that person off the faculty. Make sure this person doesn't get a job offer, etc. It doesn't matter. I know the real motivation. I mean, I well, that's clear. If you, if, you, if you even criticize Israel... Yes, you're accused of being anti-Semitic, despite the fact that uh, large numbers of people in Israel probably agree with what you're saying. Um, yeah. Sure. I, I remember uh, interviewing at uh, Northwestern Law School up in Chicago for a job, and I gave a scholarly paper criticizing the Israeli raid at Entebbe. Uh, for violating different norms of international law. It was just a very scholarly presentation and saying I, you know, I didn't think this was a very healthy precedent. And it got back to me, I was rejected for being anti-Semitic. So any criticism at all of Israel for any reason is deemed to be anti-Semitic. Now that's just experiences at um, Northwestern, Yale, Harvard, NYU, four law schools there. I mean, I could go through more if you want. Um, uh, University of New Orleans, I was invited down there to speak. And the um, Jewish committee, even before I showed up, pressured the dean. It, it's supposed to be run by Jesuits. Pressured the dean, uh, saying, you know, Boyle's an anti-Semite, and therefore you should cancel his lecture. Well, the dean refused to cancel the lecture outright, but what he did was cancel the funding at the last minute. Very pernicious, right? Well, he didn't want to sell any his but he canceled the funding. So they had to scramble down there to get the funding, and I had to take a slight cut or a cut in my honorarium. This happens all the time everywhere, uh, certainly to me. I don't know others. I can't speak for others. Uh, so, you know, it's just a big game that uh, gets played. Um, and, I, you know, I'm aware of it. I'm familiar. At least here in the United States abroad, it's not, you know, I go to Europe or England or anywhere else and talk about the Palestinians with no problem. It never gets back right. here, what you're saying. All right. But, uh, and I get interviewed. You know, I get interviewed by the BBC, foreign news media all the time. Um, um, you know, if, if you're on the BBC, the whole world's listening to you. But... Uh, here in the United States, forget it. So, but I mean, again, that's the way the game gets played. Um, you know, if, if you're going to play in the game, you got to accept it. Those are the rules. You work within them. You you try not to get upset or frustrated. You realize how much hypocrisy is shot through the entire academic world. These people are racist, and they're hypocrites. 
It's all racism directed against the Palestinians. They're Arab, Muslim, Christian, whatever. They're all racists and hypocrites, and the whole American academic world, in my opinion, are racists and hypocrites when it comes to the Palestinians. 